Good afternoon. We'd like to share with you a few tips about using the early Jamestown uh, iPad app that was developed in conjunction with the Virginia Department of Education for the Beyond Textbooks Initiative. Um, let's get started. One of, the, one of the things that you need to get used to when you begin, and by the way, this is a newer version of the app and it might not coincide with the one you have loaded on your iPad. It should be available uh, towards the end of the week of November 15, so uh, if, you, uh, if you have an earlier version, you'll be able to upgrade to this one very shortly. But uh, all of what we will be talking about here is applicable to both versions. Well, the first really important trick about uh, this application is that you need to tap on screen to get the menus that will allow you to navigate to different parts of the content. So when you tap on screen, you get this black bar on top that gives you access to certain navigational features. For example, if you click here on the right hand side, you get a, vis a perspective on the whole product that's extremely important because it'll allow you to see how the different, uh, how the content is laid out. If you notice, it's actually broken down into small sections which we call stacks. Each section contains perhaps a sub, uh, the equivalent of what's on a book spread uh, with different types of information and you will actually see when you scroll through it that it mentions here what the spread name is and uh, it also talks about what time period it's talking about and in a gray in gray type you'll find the page numbers it refers to uh, so you can easily find out each one of these uh, what it corresponds to on the physical printed book once you find uh, the spread you want to look you simply click on it and then you can navigate through it so the content of the of this stack is stacked, you know, one after another, so you can go up and down through the stack, and then to go to the next stack, you simply go sideways. So you basically are reading all the way down, and then you move sideways towards the right, and that's the way you'll be navigating through most of this content. Uh, there's a couple of interesting features. You'll get things like green words that you can tap on, and once you tap on them, you'll get definitions of their meaning with uh, you know, an appropriate definition of the vocabulary for the children you're going to be working with and then you can tap on it again to make it disappear. You can also play videos that are embedded into the content just by tapping on them and you can make those videos full screen by doing a two finger stretch on top of them or shrink them again. You can also tap on top of the video and you'll get video controls to be able to pause or play and to be able to go full screen and minimize again. There are a few other features that, that are worth mentioning. You can go to, uh, there's an interactive map that uh, allows kids to get first-hand experience on, uh, on primary source material. In this case, it's uh, the map drawn by John Smith of Virginia. And when you tap on it, you actually get a version of the map that you can actually pinch zoom. And uh, you can start looking at some of the details, for instance, how on this, uh, how uh, you, uh, you can find, for instance, here, how this uh, compass rose includes a little fleur-de-lis pointing all the way towards England, which I found quite interesting. Or you can look at the little crosses where John Smith actually visited, as opposed to what's told about. There's 27 little crosses in the map, like this one over here. And it's kind of a fun activity to have kids uh, find those things in the map. Uh, you will also find certain maps that are are certain interactive timelines like this one here. You basically click on this interactive timeline and it shows you the growth of the Jamestown colony. Just by tapping on it, it will actually go year after year showing how the different hundreds were created around the, James, the original Jamestown settlement uh, and you get a feeling of how that progressed through, it, through, through the years. You can also drag your finger through it, tap and drag your finger through it and just kind of go back and forth and see how that uh, settlement pattern occurred to get a very visceral feeling for, for the flow of information there. Uh, there's also a timeline here that you can click on to get this, that same map showing you what the colony looked like uh, on that year. And perhaps uh, one of the most interesting little uh, features here is the assessment component that's tied right into the content. So on the Let's Review pages, you will find links to the assessments that are included in the teacher's edition of the book. So when a student clicks here on Chapter Test A or Chapter Test B, they will actually go to a page 
where they need to enter a password to, to take the test. The passwords will be sent to you via email so that every teacher can give their students the appropriate password when, they, when she thinks they're ready to take the test. Once they take the test, because they have used the password given by the teacher, that test will be delivered to the teacher's email uh, and will be graded accordingly. So you will get, uh, you will get a password for each, for each one of the tests. Let's see if I can just paste mine here so we don't have to go through this. Just a second. they'll click the submit button and they'll get the test. They enter their name and their email address uh, and then they can just answer the questions, the multiple choice questions uh, and once they answer all the questions they can simply grade and submit and the test will be sent to the teacher to her email address with the, with the student's name and email address on it. That's, those are basically the main features of our early Jamestown application. A couple of other things to bear in mind if you want to go to a table of contents of the whole uh, of the whole product, you can simply click here on the black bar, and when you click here, you will get a, a drop-down list with all the different components that are included in this particular interactive textbook. So you can navigate right to it. Um, we hope you enjoy using this application, and we look forward to getting your feedback as you start using it with your students.